Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another starting base. This one has been very well put together to feature everything we need to survive in survival mode. We've got a little bit of defense, we've got a lot of stuff on the interior to make it a bit more homey, and we've got a solar aligning script to control a giant solar panel at the back of the building to make sure you've got power for a nice long time. So this thing that I'm currently standing in front of is called the HBC Station Lima, which is this glorious thing over here. Yes, we've got a bit of defense, we've got connection points for small ships coming dock up to, lots of steps going absolutely everywhere, so it's like a small maze. And it's got a little bit of defense, which should be good for any kind of pesky drones, or any kind of wolves that decide to come over and start chewing on your steel blocks. So what I'll do is now just come back around towards the very front, we can hit F10, find it in the spawn menu, and we'll go from there. So the HBC Lima Station is 445 large blocks, using pretty much all the DLC packs. It does feature one mod, which is the Window Door mod, and I do hope they add it into the base game through a DLC pack later on, or even just to the base game altogether, because it is such a useful mod, and while the doors take up so little room, and can double as a window. But yes, we've got all the important information about it, such as all the stuff it contains, and there's also a nice tidbit at the top here where it states that you might want to put a wind turbine on this, just to help out at night, because of course, the solar panels are your main form of power generation. So giving this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, then we'll get to the bulk of the video, walk around the interior, see what it has to offer, and I think that'll be that. So at the very front for the station Lima, this is what we get. So right in the very middle, we've got ourselves an LCD screen with the logo for the station. Right above that, we can see some window blocks going for our bedroom, which we'll see later on when we go around on foot. We can see a couple of stairs on the left and right hand side to get up and inside, the one on the left hand side will lead to your medical bay, the one on the right hand side will go up to your living quarters, then eventually it will lead back down to the medical bay in a full circle. We can see we've got a Gatling gun on here for a bit of defense, as well as some great use of our neon tubes coming from the main station, all the way down over to the cargo container that's currently feeding it with ammunition. We see a few oxygen tanks here and there which are a little bit exposed, but at the end of the day you should be perfectly fine if starting out on the Earth-like planet. If we were to start to move around onto the side, there's a connector for a small ship to come and dock up to, with a hydrogen tank right behind it. We can see a couple batteries in the background, as well as a large industrial refinery to, well, refine everything up. As we look around over to here, we can see some great use of our catwalks just covering up the side of that hydrogen tank. There's some windows pit inside at our sort of like an engineering bay, where we feature a seat that can manually control the solar panels, as well as both our programmable blocks we currently have nothing on by default. But what I've done is added the auto door and L on script, make sure all the doors are closed behind me so I don't have to keep flicking the screen around. Over here, there's an interior turret to help out with some defense. There's an antenna up there. We see another doorway that goes all the way into our living quarters to eventually to the front and the back where our beds and our little kitchen bay is sitting. There's another doorway to get in and out of the station. And all the way over to here, this is our solar panel array, which is currently on a hinge on the rotor, and it will automatically change to the sunlight depending on the time of day. There's a custom weapon controller right below it to actually control this thing, then some steps go all the way around it to do some maintenance work if it ever took damage. If we were to come back to the main body of the station, we've got some more windows here inside, so we can just about make out a few bits and bobs in there, we'll get a clear view when we get around on foot. There's a module that currently sits on our assembler, and there's we have to move all the way over to here. There's our small little living quarters where we've got a kitchen counter, we've got a seat to sit in, and a rather precarious hole in the floor that'll lead all the way down into this section, which is a small junction that'll lead to your medical bay or to the engineering bay, depending on where you want to go. But there's another interior turret for a bit of defense. Over here we see our walkways that'll lead around over to this section. This is our medical bay where we once again got a doorway to go in and out. There's some more great use of our LCD screens with a large warning label. Around over to this side, we can see some more great use of our neon tubes in the rather sickly green. And on this part, a window would appear inside. That'll be right next to our medical bay block, which should be sitting right there. There's a cryopod just hidden away. Then we come around all the way over to there. Another interior turret, some more steps that lead around, and all detector. And that's that for the outside. I did miss out the top, but not too much else to talk about up there. So there's a window to appear inside. And I suppose we'll come all the way down underneath it. There we go, where we see a lot of the gubbins to make this thing work. So there's a large cargo container, there's our hydrogen tanks, there's our modules, and a couple of connection points. I suppose you could connect up to something else further down into the ground if you want to dig it out and then go and connect everything up. But now what I can do is just grab hold my character and we now actually get a better look on the inside here. And I suppose we'll start off by going up to here because I'll venture deep down and out that doorway. But yes, below our turret we do have an access panel so we go inside and act all fancy. Now we just close that up, just walk around up there. We see our neon tubes there, we've got easy access to repair this up if it ever took damage. 
and we do have a welding block there to automatically repair this up if it did take damage so you don't have to lift your finger. There's our connector, that leads all the way up to here. There's our hydrogen tank, and just looking up, there we go. I suppose we can for the moment just walk through here, this come past our industrial refinery, there's the access panel right there. We can come all the way past this, over to here, here's an O2H2 generator. Now lead down the steps, that goes to our medical bay, and I'll come down towards the very front where I started. But for the moment we just come back all the way up to here, round we go, up these steps, there's our antenna, there's our interior turret, there's our solar panels, that lead up to our main doorway, go inside. So opening up this, into here, here is our airlock, so we've got an air vent, cargo container, and an inset light in the floor. Moving forwards, opening this up, this is our modded doorway, where we just open this up, and now walk through. So before we come into this section, we're going to turn around and come into this doorway. This is going to take us to our bedroom that we saw at the very front at the top. Got a fantastic view all the way around this. And you wonder why I keep walking into windows? Well, it's because they're so damn clear. I swear they were much more dirtier before in a previous update. But yes, turning around, here's our bed to sleep in. Looking up, another fantastic view of what's going on. And there's our ore detector right on the side. Opening up this, back through here. All the way around to here, there's our kitchen counter, there's our chair, there's our shower and toilet setup, there's a locker to get yourself up. Around to here, there's a windowed pier outside, and what looks like a gap in the wall, but once again, is a window. Anyway, walking around towards the very front, once again, a fantastic view all the way around this. We can clearly see what the solar panel is up to. But then turning around, here is the rather precarious hole in the floor. We were to drop all the way down. There we go. Now we're on basically the engineering deck. So for the moment, what we're going to do is walk this way, because this will take us to our assembler. And we then see, once again, our solar panel in the distance. But we can open up this, walk through here, open up this. Here's that engineering bay with our programmable blocks. Got a good view of what's going on on the inside there. And around to here, another custom weapon controller. There's a event controller. Then up to there, a couple more event controllers. Then just run over to here, into the seat. That's going to control our solar panel if we needed to. But we just leave that for the moment. And yes, I added the auto door and LL scripts. This one up here has nothing going on with it, so you could add something useful if you can think of it. For the moment, we'll come back through here, open up this. In fact, we'll open up that for the moment, that'll take us to the outside. If we walk through here, back to where we just were, so here's the junction where we drop down. Into this section, this will lead around to our medical bay. We've got our weapon locker, a toilet, there's medical bay block, there's a kitchen table. There's an armory locker around this side, there's a crown pod, there's the window we saw from the side. And then we can come all the way around, open this up. And once again, a window that looks like you just walk outside. Open up this, and here we are once again, right next to our industrial refinery. And there we go! That's a tour of the interior, that's a tour of the outside. That looks bloody fantastic, how's it all been set up? There's a lot of stuff going on over it, especially on this section right here. Some absolute fantastic use of the neon tubes. And, well, you could get a lot of use out of this at the start of survival mode. To elaborate a bit on that, basically at the start of survival mode where you have your drop pod coming down to the Earth-like planet, you can always remove that, spawn this in, then use this as your starting point to give yourself a little head start, and of course get over that little slump at the beginning, where you're just mining into the ground on the stone, putting it into the drop pod, and while we'll slowly building it up. Just decided to skip that starting section, which is always jolly good stuff. As for that, that is pretty much it for the HPC station Lima. It's a bloody fantastic station, it's got all you need to start off in survival mode, and even a bit more, maybe even to mid game if you wanted to. You may want to have a bit more defense all around the outside, and you may want to get, say, a reactor on this when you're able to get access to uranium. But at the end of the day, it will serve you very well, and it looks great. So there'll be a link to the description below if you do wish to download and play around with yourself. I highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.